Hello friends, this video on locomotion and movement part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the disorders of the muscular and the skeletal system. Now what can happen if something goes wrong with the muscular system or the skeletal system? Now some of the common disorders of muscles, bones or joints are arthritis, osteoporosis, gout, and muscular dystrophy. So these are some of the very common disorders that happen with people when they age. So let us try to see what are some of the common uh, causes and symptoms of each of these. So let us start with arthritis. So let us see what is arthritis. It is a very common name which you would have often heard from people that somebody is suffering from arthritis. Generally it happens to old people. However, that is not necessary because when you talk about the cause of arthritis, it can be many things. It can be genetic, it can be decrease in the amount of cartilage tissue. So when the amount of cartilage tends to decrease in the body, that can also lead to arthritis. It can also happen when the immune system attacks the, uh, the cells forming the musculoskeletal system. Now, there are different types of arth arthritis depending upon the cause of arthritis. For example, when the immune system attacks the synovium, synovium which forms the synovial fluid. So if that synovial fluid is affected, that means if no more synovial fluid gets secreted between the bones at the joints, then what will happen? The synovial joints will not be able to function properly. So the flexibility will reduce. I mean, that's what we saw, right, that in the synovial joints, maximum movement is possible. And that is because of the presence of the synovial fluid. Now, if synovial fluid is not formed, that uh, movement will also not happen. So, as a result, it will start to damage both the bone and cartilage in the joint. So, this type of arthritis is known as rheumatic arthritis. And it can become very severe. In its severe form, it can, it can be fatal. So that is called rheumatic arthritis. Now there is another type of arthritis which is called osteoarthritis. Now osteoarthritis is the one where the cartilage tissue amount decreases. That is called osteoarthritis. What are the symptoms of arthritis? Inflammation of joints. The joints get swollen up. There is severe joint pain and joints also tend to become stiff, more hard and stiff. Next is the osteoporosis. What is osteoporosis? This generally happens with increasing age if the body weight decreases or if the levels of the hormones like the estrogen decreases. So it generally happens in females because females tend to have this hormone estrogen. So when the level of this hormone reduces, it can lead to osteoporosis. What happens in osteoporosis? The bone mass decreases and it happens due to lower levels of calcium in the body because bones are made up of calcium. Now when the amount of calcium in the body reduces, uh, then the bone mass also reduces. So the bones become more uh, susceptible to fractures and the fractures can be extremely painful. However, the osteoporosis can be treated or it can be avoided by intake of calcium. So that is why it is always advised that females should uh, take in, should keep continuing an intake of uh, calcium so that they do not suffer from osteoporosis when they age. The next one is gout. Gout is again a inflammation of joints which happens due to accumulation of uric acid crystals. You all know what is uric acid. You remember when I was talking about uh, the excretory system, I told you urea, uric acid, ammonia, all these should be thrown out of the body. But if by some chance uric acid gets accumulated in your joints, it can lead to swelling of joints and extremely pain at the joints. So that is gout. And the last disorder that is muscular dystrophy. What happens here? This is a very rare disease. It happens one in some 50,000 people. So in this, what happens is muscles tend to shrink over time. So with age, it is generally genetic. And what happens is 
as the person grows older so with age there is progressive weakness there is loss of skeletal muscle mass the skeletal muscles tend to be become weaker now gradually it becomes weaker and finally it shrinks badly now when the skeletal muscles shrink that badly the muscle contraction cannot happen if muscle contraction cannot happen movement cannot happen so finally all movements will stop but this is a very uh, i mean deadly disease but at the same time it is very rare Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.